to welcome to Crafty Cottage Stitches. My name's I'm Heather. <laughs> <laughs> and today is Sunday, uh, September 12th. Mm -hmm. We are on floss tube. I have no idea. None whatsoever. Maybe 20, late 20 something. <laughs> I'm not sure. This is our floss tube channel about cross stitch, sewing, crafting, decorating, crafty things. I have a weird glare in my glasses, but we're just gonna have to deal with it because it's in, dark today. Yeah, which we're is in my wonderful. Nursery, but <clears throat> we did not get a lot of cross stitching done this week. No, we've had a lot of life going on, so some sewing. So this will be we a short spend one today. Sewing, so yeah. yeah. Um, not even a lot of haul. Nope. But I'll try and have more cross stitch next time. Definitely. I did make one start, but. <clears throat> I'm starting over, so but I'll show you what I did. So you go first, because I have to dig mine out. I was gonna try and have a finish. It's not finished clearly because I don't like it. What don't you like? I don't know. It's just not enough. But then if I do anything to it, it's too much. I painted this little um, hoop. I didn't even like lace it or anything yet because I don't. Yeah, no, it's cute. I know, but it's just not for I, for how much I loved stitching this, it's just not enough. You know what I mean? Maybe. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Maybe a little trim around the outside or something. Something. <clears throat> so there's my not finish. <laughs> um. Yeah, we've had a lot going on, so um, we haven't had a chance to do much because I was going to have my frame painted too. By me, and I didn't do it. <laughs> and I still haven't done any of That's it. That's okay, we'll do it. We'll do it this next time, hopefully. Yeah. I've only worked on one thing. I started um, Lantern Lane. And hopefully this is, um, yeah, this is the right bag. I was hoping to really get a lot more done on this, but... I didn't. So here is my start, which was, you know, fairly decent. I like the green. I don't like the green. I'm going to change it to a little bit less variegated. I don't love that. So. Oh, is that what you don't like? Yeah, it's, it's the variegation. Color. I don't mind the color. I forgot to bring a project I don't, board in here. I don't like this for this tree. So um, I'm just going to start it over on the other corner because this is plenty big enough. And if I have to pull some out, then I'll do it. But I'm not going to do it. What green is that? Um, this green is... I put it away because I didn't like it. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's pretty. I really don't remember. It's beautiful green. It's just... Um, and here is the one I'm doing. So... And we are going to just, um, someone had asked, we're not going to do our own hashtag because it's already been started by Priscilla and Chelsea. So we're just going to kind of jump in on that. And I don't think she had time to link a lot of stuff last time, if at all. No. <clears throat> so. I'll try today. Yeah, she will. Oh, it's uh, muggy today. There's that is the only thing I've been uh, stitching on. And I did that actually in like one evening. It's I don't think it's going to be take for a, lo a long time to do it. Um, but I just really wasn't happy with that at all. It was too variegated for me. So it needs to be a little bit darker, but I am gonna love it on this um, fabric. I think it's gonna be a little bit challenging to pick the colors as I go on the house. Cause remember I'm doing my house white. <clears throat> yeah. But I'm just gonna kind of work at it, work at it as I go. So that, that's it for cross stitching for me. And I had a new start, and it <sighs> is so fun. It's really, really fun to stitch. I love it And so I would have much. gotten more done last night, but my daughter woke up at a weird time, and she knocks on the door to get out of the room, and it was really kind of creepy, honestly. <laughs> and I'm like, what is who's knocking at, like, 1030? <sighs> so this is that um, little Halloween Quaker, the freebie by... Susan Aki from Orophil. For Orophil. For Orophil. And for the fabric, I had 32 count white Lugana. 
<clears throat> and I decided to do orange and black paint flecks on it. And it turned out awesome. It turned out really, really cool. <clears throat> so there's that. It's really, really fun to stitch. I love that. She did me a piece too. It's so cool. You basically um, just use a toothbrush. Uh, did you water your paint down or just mm -hmm. use solid? I um, used solid, like I dipped it in your there. thumb over it. Yeah, I dipped it in there and then I just kind of ran it over the piece of cardboard that I had on the back and then I just flecked like that. You don't want a lot of paint on your toothbrush no. and you want to be back a little bit practice on a paper towel or something but it's really fun i used to do it a lot when i painted um just to give it a little bit of texture and background but man did that turn out cool on it turned out really cool and i thought Love if it. we use paint <clears throat> i'd always kind of wondered because we had talked about doing where we did our own polka dot fabric too well this is the way to do it mm -hmm. huh? i wondered if um you would have to like pop a needle through the paint in the fabric and so far, I've only had like one spot where I needed to do that, but you can still really see oh, yeah, the you holes, can totally and it's not an issue at all. But even um, like that French polka dotted stuff we used, That's some, right. of, some of them were like that anyway. But oh, I yeah. Too, so. But I mean, Isn't can you cool? imagine this um, doing that on a blue? I am. And this, I'm going to yeah, do it on the blue snow. that we dyed with white for um, Peppermint Pals. Yeah. I think it's really cool. I love the texture. That's super cool. I'm not sure what I'm... I, I actually think I do know. I think I'm going to do the Little Witch from Jack-O-Lantern Jubilee. Is that what that's called? Yeah. From Bryn Brenda Gervais. I think I'm going to do the Little Witch on here. I think it'll be cute. Um, this pattern is really, really fun to stitch. I love that. So I'm just, I pulled my own colors. The orange we know is 921 because yeah. that's like the best orange. 310 and then I think 465. Is that like a gray? Yep. So you're way going off, off, or it's not six forty-five. Okay. Is there a color change in that spot on nope. the pattern? It's gray. Oh, it is. Okay. I, I mean, I don't know. She might have used that same <clears throat> gray. Yeah, that's well, cool. no, because it's orophil. Yeah, it calls for orophil. That's true. Um, it's really cute. So I think that'll work out pretty quickly. And then I had two other freebies that I found looking on Pinterest, like actual freebies that I wanted to show you guys because I want to get them started too. It's from a blog um, called Make Stuff Be Happy and I will post, I will link that below for you guys. And there wasn't a picture of this one done up or I would show that, but there's this one right here. Oops. That Sorry. would make the cutest little pin cushion. And I think that's well, what it's called done, pumpkins right? and pins, so I think it probably is for that. It's super cute, super, super cute, and that would be super quick to stitch up. And then also, plus, that'd be good to use just like a small remnant of fabric. Yeah, and I actually saw somebody do this one recently, I don't remember who it was, maybe a couple people actually. It's really cute. And that just looks like a scissor, something or other. It's like attached to a keychain. So that won't take very long either. I want to start on that. So I'll link that below. I actually need to work on stuff for Pumpkin Spice Social because I haven't... Oh, that was her phone. Yep. I um, haven't really done anything um, related to that. We uh, did some sewing. Yeah. You had a little bit of a haul, right? Because this is part of your haul. Um... Oh yeah, I don't remember what I got with this. I don't know, but they have um, gingerbread fabric. There we go. Forty-six count. Artiste. Forty-six count artiste white. I may be crazy, but I I think it would be cute with ornaments though, because I like the really tiny yeah. ornaments. But I mean, it's six ninety nine, so I thought I'd give it a shot when I'm in my own house with lighting. <laughs> I can see smaller count because I cannot where I am. So. What's your plans for cross stitching? I have plans. Oh yeah. To restart Lantern Lane for sure. But um, I need to do, I wanna do some of the things out of the Jack-O-Lantern Jubilee, Jubilee um, for Pumpkin Spice Social. Um, 
And I'm working on the red barn, but I have to pull the caterpillar tree back out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, before. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> We will be better these next two weeks. We we keep saying that. But this was for real. We had a lot going on uh, personally. So we, yeah. It was a really horrible two weeks. So It's better it's now. It's better now. <laughs> <laughs> so we did some sewing. And, but I'm going to show this because I love it so much. And this is part of, part of my plans. I made a project bag. All the fabric is from... Well, almost Hobby Lobby. The the gingham and the bottom part is from Hobby Lobby. And all I did was I put, I did it a little bit different so I could put some rickrack because gingerbread and rickrack seem to go together. Yeah. And I just made a little a yo yo. This oh. is from Walmart. Hope you guys aren't getting sick of our project bags because we're on a real mm. kick right now. And I need to make a couple more Christmas ones. I found out. So mm. she apparently has just skipped Halloween and is now on. No, Christmas. I'm not really. <laughs> I'm really not. <laughs> Um, but you asked my plans, so I oh, want to okay. get a couple of started, and I so I put the my gingerbread ones in here. Um, and I thought I thought I would start this last night, but uh, yeah, mentally I'm not there. So, um, and if I'm like that and I start stitching, I'm gonna either not like what I'm doing or have to rip half of it out. So, and I dropped these in there. I'm not gonna do the whole thing of this. But I did pick out five of my um, favorites, and I'm gonna stitch them in a line. Cause I think that'd be cute above my pantry door. Yeah, definitely. So I'm gonna do that. They would be cute framed individually that way too. Yeah, that's true. I'll think on that, yeah. so. Um, but those, I do wanna get. But we do have that one finishing thing for them. <sighs> the tartan. Oh yeah. I don't think five is in there though. Probably not. Probably three. Well, we had bought that six. long. Um, we bought a long tart tin on Amazon. Why did we show that? Long did we show it? it? Yeah. It's Wilton. Yeah. I found it on Amazon. It was like six bucks, and I we thought did. that would be really cool to finish. Like gingerbread mm -hmm. or something kitcheny. So. This is we spent a day sewing, and this is one of the ones. And she made one for me too. Yeah. I can, oh, I love this fabric so much. I actually bought a couple yards of it um, to make a few other things. Um, but as closer to Christmas, but I don't know. I was in the mood for Christmas for some reason. I think probably because um, it's looking more and more like that will be the holiday that we're actually living in our house. So I think Hopefully. that's... <laughs> No, it will. <laughs> it will. Um, so I think that's why my brain's kind of gone there, but um, I gotta stop that. It's not just house stuff that was going on. No, we had a <laughs> personal horrible thing happen with us, so. Um, but it's, it's all good now. Yeah. I did finish my other bag too, the one I had done. Um, out of stitch. Out of stitch. Finish that one because I had, we had ran out of batting, so I couldn't finish the back, but I'd gotten the front done. But I put the um, the yellow inside. That's from my lantern lane fabric. So that was. I love having all these bags. It's yeah. So nice. I have a pile right. of them now. So right now I have a pile of bags, and then my cross stitch stuff just scatter all over. I need That's to what actually I did. Put I them did. All together, you did last yeah, night. Yeah, last night, and I feel so much better. And so I did, um, also I had had this one I made, um, I guess we're moving on now to yeah, sewing. Yeah, we are. We are <laughs> sewing. Um, this is going to be a quick video because we don't have a lot to show. Yeah. I had made this, I don't know, six years ago maybe, but it was way bigger than the size we really like. So I just basically, um, this one's like, the only difference with this one is I enclosed the zipper. I don't do that anymore because I use batting on the front too. Um, but I just basically sewed two sides and cut it down. And it, because they are a lot like my other ones, the only difference is this doesn't have batting. So it's a lot flimsier. A lot flimsier, which is fine, whatever. Yep. Because it's so cute and I wanted to use it. But it was quite large. My first ones I made because I was using um, Q-snaps at that time, trying them. So I wanted them bigger for Q-snaps, which I don't use them um, no. unless they're really small. 
If it's really tiny, sometimes I will, but I've gone away from that mostly too. But this is old Hobby Lobby from years ago. I'd say I made it like six years ago. Really? But yeah, definitely. Five, six at least. And so that's what I sewed. Um, you don't have any cross stitch haul? No, I do not. I only have one haul and it's not cross stitch. I have, I got my, um, my kit. And that's oh, what yeah. I'm working on, trying to keep up. I made a bag last night, and I it did. is so wonky. No, it's not. Ooh. I would have never noticed that. <laughs> you would have in the video. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I, <laughs> it I'm, I think I'll flip it back out and just take it across there. Or yes. not. I don't even really care. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> yeah, you will, because it's going to bother you. Just this was, like, like, after I had sewn all day and was tired and clearly I don't know what I did me either <laughs> because you have they're, they're two and a half inch squares yeah no they were they were squares <laughs> don't know. now they're well, this uh, shape trapezoid or yeah, something yeah I have no idea <laughs> so whatever this hey, is leftover cares? kitty corn and then I had there's some Lori Holt and then this is that one you gave me a um, yeah tri -pack. April Rosenthal or something. yeah it's like an April Rosenthal and it has like bright greens and reds that and worked blues. for that didn't it I thought it was cute to pull the yellows yeah really into yellow right now um I need to add something to this I haven't decided what yet and then clearly I need to fix this issue we have some cute charms on order they just haven't came yet yeah but they're kind of supposed to be here tomorrow decorate actually. these up a little bit and then the cutest bag she's ever done i think i loved your strawberry one but i love this one more. this is better i think so too this is for pumpkin spice social oh my gosh do, 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 do. <laughs> i love it so much i used also kitty corn up here i had these two and a half inch squares cut for a very low volume quilt um I have like a whole quilt cut out and I don't, I'm not going to use it anymore um, for that. And so I've just been pulling because I like low volume fabrics. And then I drew up a little pumpkin and made an applique out of it. And stitched on the leaf. It's so cute. I love it so much. The applique I just zigzagged it on. And I have one started for her too. And then just... Some not the crooked one, right? No, <laughs> just kidding. no, no, no. It's the same fabrics except <laughs> right. for the kitty corn. Well, yeah, because that one makes the pump. I was kidding anyway. I would take the one I that know was bit off. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did but where the pumpkin just really pops pops. on there. I made one of these little little keychain things with some of the fabric and some rickrack, and then I used some of the beads that I dyed. To put on a charm and a little rhinestone and somebody had asked how i dyed these beads do you want out i'll let our cat out real quick otherwise she's gonna scream, scream. so go here's there i accidentally took her her chart home so. oh yeah perfect <laughs> so somebody asked how i dyed the beads i really just kind of how we no not even it's way easier than fabric I looked up the color recipes on Rit, Rit's website. I just Google um, color formulas, Rit dye, and then you can bring up the chart and pick whatever color on there. Change the size of your project to small, and then it will give you um, a recipe that has four cups of water versus like five gallons or three gallons of water, which I normally, which they normally do. So I would, I mixed up the dye, all the different colors I wanted, and then I just threw the beads in there. And they float, which is nice. And I just stirred them with a little skewer until they're the color I want. Scoop them out. I mean, I'm sure you could even cut that in half for two cups of water if you're doing beads or whatever. Oh, totally. Yeah. Yeah. And the black ones, I just did my own color and it was literally just like dye in the bottom because I wanted them black, black. They turned out so yeah. awesome. You just scoop them out, and I did a quick rinse, laid them out on parchment paper in the sun to dry or just on the counter. And then I I wired them all and 
sprayed poly acrylic on them to seal them. I don't know if you have to do that. I wanted to have a seal on them and it kind of gives them a nice little kind of a nice finish without yeah. being I got the satin. Yeah, the satin spray. They can you can get it in matte also. Um but that was for a suggestion from one of our viewers to we dyed she dyed her yeah beans so or she just used it her and... leftover dye when she yeah. was dyeing fabric if you wanted to do that um they turned really out fun. so much cooler than I even could have imagined <clears throat> and they're cute on a little I want that bottle thing too is there a bling on there too yeah there's a little bling from an old scrapbook. Oh, thing that I had. So cute. And I just zigzag some of the fabric. That's one of my favorite rick racks of all time. Yeah. We're getting low on that, by the way, aren't we? Yeah. I'll have to look. That was scrapbooking yeah. stuff. So they used to have the coolest trims for that. Isn't it so cute? Yes. I love it so much. So that's that. And, do you have anything else to show? I only have my kit. That's it. Uh, that's the only thing I got. One more project to show. Okay, will you do that while I bend over and try to get this without spilling my coffee? Everybody's seen it, but I got it, and it's fun, and it's cute, so you do your, you do your thing. We don't have tables in here, so it's, um, oh my goodness. Do you love it so much? I finished my quilt top. Yes. It's just so cheery and festive. Now I want to just... <laughs> That's not a good way to show it to you guys, but... Well, we're up against the wall, so... Yeah. So cute. It's, I mean, clearly points don't match and whatever. That's the wonderful thing about Yellow Brick Road yeah. if you're a beginner. They don't have to because you're. there's so many things going on. It's good practice for you to get at that, to do that. Um, I mean, I did where I could because, I mean, these blocks were already made up from, yeah, like, from forever when, ago. From when she was a total beginner. So, and it, you can see that it's going to still be cool, and it doesn't matter that not every point is perfect. I love it. It's a great quilt to learn your quarter-inch seam allowance because in the end, it's still going to look yeah. awesome. This that fabric is. reminds me of the Flintstones. It really does. <laughs> And I had like two blocks left over. I had like this one block that had fabric in it that, I don't know if it was my tester block or what. It had like a green fabric in it that I didn't have in anything else. Hmm. And I was worried that I was gonna have to use it. Now she's screaming to come back come in. In. Come in. She's fine. Good. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I love it. I, I don't have too. anything for the backing, so I don't know. I don't really want to spend money on that right now. It would be kind of nice to have it finished for Halloween, but... Well, how much do you need? Because I'm going to put in an order for some kitty corn. Oh, I don't know. We'll do it and figure it out. So the yeah, only well, thing... Um, the only thing I got was my Happy Place kit. I had ordered it from Fat Quarter Shop. So I'm excited. This starts uh, Monday. I think she's already put the video up. Oh, so stinking cute. I was so too. tired that I fell asleep watching it. Um, did you bring the stuff for it? Yes, I okay, did. Good. I brought my, I actually am using my super cute. They're actually perfect for this. Um, I have everything in here. This is such a beautifully large tin. So, because I'm having to carry it back and forth, like Heather used to have to do when I'm going to her house now, um, so I can keep all the parts in here and have it all together, because I'm famous for forgetting, um, forgetting chunks of what I need to bring, so. Or an iPad. Forgetting yeah. an iPad. <laughs> and it's a solid 15 minutes away, so. It's more than that sometimes. 15 minutes exactly on a mm. Sunday. Oh, yeah. Um, but I love it. I'm excited. I am altering mine a little bit because of my new sewing room is only has one area where I can actually hang a quilt and I want this on the wall. Um, but you, you guys have seen it. So I'm excited. Um, probably maybe this afternoon. 
go watch the video again. I've watched her other videos, I, but I, I just like watching it while I'm cutting it out or whatever. So I did realize I forgot to pack my glue, <sighs> the Sue glue, but I'm going to have to just tap it. I remember it literally packing it. Yeah, because I keep it in that. Um, mm -hmm. The Susan? Yeah, the lazy Susan. Susan. So, um, so I'm going to have to figure something out with that, but we will do it. I'm actually going to trace some and put them together over here this afternoon. So yeah. I'm excited to get started on it. Oh, you have that. Oh, I do. Yeah. I have the coolest find. I was on... I was just on Instagram the other day looking around at different um, makers, quilters, really. I was looking, I was like in a quilty mood and I stumbled across, I already had followed her. Do we remember her name? Hatsuko? No. No. The lady on Instagram. The Pretty Handmaid's one? Yes. Okay. I'm not sure her name, but she does Pretty Handmade. She has a book also. Pretty Handmade. And I mean, she's got a ton of followers mm -hmm. on Instagram, but she had done this quilt and I went all the way back a few years in her feed and I saw that it came from a book and it's Atsuko Matsuyama, which is the fabric designer that I just bought all of that beautiful Japanese well, that fabric. Well, <laughs> i that too. What? Oh, oh yeah. Yes, that I yes, that's how I ended up on there too. Um it was like a rabbit hole of oh my gosh. So she is the lady that designed that beautiful fabric I bought from Rose Garden Patchwork in the UK. And I saw that that lady had bought this book and I thought, "Well, I'm going to go look on Drift Books to see if that's available because it's an older book, like a few years." And they had it for six dollars and fifty cents, one copy. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of old thimble bears, and it has there. like it's, it's an awesome website. Like the pattern sheets in it and everything, like it's really awesome. It's an old um, library book. That's what oh, a lot of them it? are. Uh huh. It was from um, St. Louis County Library. So cool. And it is beautiful. I just want to show you guys one page in here to give you kind of an idea. There are so many projects in here. Teeny tiny little bags are my bags favorite part of that one, I think. Lots of applique. Sorry. It'll be um, cute little accessory bags and stuff. Here's the picture of. Here we go. Look at how beautiful. I love it. And this is well, that I'm quilt that, she had, that Pretty Handmade had made. I mean, there's tons of people that have made it. Look at that. Well, and the, and the front cover is... video is not really even doing it justice because no. it's a lot more like bubble gummy vintage. So pretty. But yeah, that was my score. Really? And I was afraid there was only one. I'm like, oh no, I gotta order it now or... Somebody's going to find it and get it. Well, and that's the truth because I had a shopping cart and then when I went back to go order it, they will put your stuff in a safer later because they get the books, you know, off and on. But yeah, like three of the things that I had weren't available anymore. They weren't available. So I ordered it and I'm like, oh, please ship, please ship because I didn't know. And it shipped and I got it. And Love it. Beautiful. There's, I mean, you could make little rug. Mug, mug rugs. Mug rugs out of them and bags. mini quilts. It's beautiful. It's a lot. A the lot bags are my favorite part in there. Yeah, little purses. Yeah. Where's that one little purse? It's got a handle. It's adorable. So now we have to find a source to order the cute little handles that she has on Yeah, she's stuff. got little handles that have, they're by her. She little has beautiful notions. What was the one? Cherries or apples yeah. or something? Yeah, look at the cherry handles on that. So cute. And she also has strawberry handles. But this, this is, is older. Totally, totally so older stuff. I don't think a lot of that is necessarily available. Well, hopefully we can find something. 2016, so, you know. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, published in 2016. So five years. So it's beautiful. And that's Heather's haul. Did you have anything else? No. I don't even have anything on order right now. I have plenty to keep me busy. I have charms on order. Yeah, I'm excited for those. Yeah. To 
jazz up our bags a little bit. Oh, did you show that you made yo-yos on the bag? Yeah, yeah, on the bag. Yeah, it is. Like I have mine's buried. We did. I did one on my little double yo-yo. Mine's a glittery. Bag. Yeah, she did glittery. Or I did glittery for yeah. her. Um, I don't. I think kind of looks like a chef's hat. Yeah. That's cute though. It adds a little something. I like it. I like it. That's one of my favorite bags I think I've ever made. Yeah, it's really cute. And I just quilted lines down the front just to keep the fabric all together, but I did that on my sewing one also. Do you not do batting on the back? Yep. There's batting in there. It's thinner than mine. But, you know, I noticed, um, because I have, I've done vinyl ones I used to. I'll grab it down here. Um... But I shove a bunch of stuff in it, and the thing with vinyl is this doesn't, it starts to do this after a while when you shove way too much stuff in here that shouldn't be. Because I, yeah, it starts to, and it could be because I didn't use super, but this is pretty heavy duty. Um, I still love them though, because I love this one in the car, because I can um, flip this around and see the pattern, and it stands up nicely up against the steering wheel. Um, so I do love it for that, but I am loving the quilted ones, Me just too. the plain quilted ones for, for now. Because as you can see, I distorted this. I had, um, But that is whole, your traveling one. This is my traveling yeah. one, so I'm fine. Um, I had shoved one of the little, and you can kind of see where I shoved the little square. Um, That's not a piled stuff. The little container I keep my floss mm, in. Yeah. So... It's like a small from Doris or something. My travel threads. Um, but it kind of distorted it a little bit. And the wonderful thing about the quilted ones, they don't do that. And I, boy, the, my um, kind of patriotic one, I, I've i carried that all over the place. And I have probably yeah. like 10 things in there. Yeah. Um, but I do love that for traveling because you can set it up against your steering wheel or whatever. I do have... Um, some more of the Minnick and Simpson on pre-order so I'm waiting for that to come in and I do want to make another bag out of that too actually so I'll get to that yeah there's a couple fabric lines um like we're waiting for Bell Isle and then Midnight Magic 2 oh yeah I have to have that because it's awesome but um, oh I and I um that well, I showed last week the October afternoon Halloween. Um, I had a couple people ask if I found out what that pattern was that I used, and it is. Um, I meant to grab the book. Let me go grab the book real quick to show you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So that pattern is out of the Schnibbles Times Two book. Oh, that's right. It is. I have no memory C. retention right now at all. So it is small. Well, oh, no, you're doing the big one? You know, I'm not sure. I've got to go back and look at uh, the size that I had cut out. I'm pretty sure. I mean, because I have a lot of stuff cut out. But who knows? I was new at the time. Put this in here so you don't see it. It's one of my favorite little... I actually have the pattern in just a little packet. Yeah. But this book is awesome if you can come across mm -hmm. it. I love schnibbles. I love schnibbles, too. Well, Thank you. You can play with them. They're made with, um, I can't play with these. they're scrappy. Yeah, yeah. and they're five inch, 10 inch. Mm -hmm. So what, turn pack and stacker? Yep. So I bet I you did. did. <laughs> <laughs> Say excuse me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can play with these. You, you can, can play with them. them, yes. But you have to be careful that's a jar, all right? I don't know, maybe I did this one. I think you did the small one. Because they're smaller. I have, such a, I have so many of them cut out. I wonder if maybe I did the smaller ones and I was going to make it bigger. Make it bigger. It's they so are cute. small. Yeah, I love it. Like this. So cute. Like well, but this. these, um, the four like patch was like three this. inches. Yeah. Like That's that would have been, I, so I did there. It's actually the Clancy like small like quilt that I, like you, you can buy like them like individually. Like you don't like have to like buy the book to like get that like pattern, like I don't like think. Like um, at least you didn't have to before, so it's a, it's a fun, fun, that's a good book. That's Carrie Nelson. Yeah. Super good stuff in there. Very. 
Yeah. And then the other one we decided was um, Scrap Jar Stars by Gigi, Gigi's Thimble. Yes. And that was a freebie on her blog. Um, she just did like a little mini quilt on her blog. But then she also now has um, like different sizes if you want um, to make like a bigger quilt and you want a pattern for that. She has that those patterns on her Etsy shop, I believe. Yeah, and I heard... The freebie is still on her blog, yeah. so yeah. you wanted yep. to do that, but it's kind of nice if you oh, wanted okay. it in different, don't do that. In different sizes, because it's a cool, cool yeah. quilt. Do you want to come say hi? You want to come say hi? Because yeah. we're about done. Careful, you're all tangled up in it. Oh, well, there's a giant head. <laughs> you're so funny. You can go down there. Okay, you can right. go down there then. <laughs> Um, so what are your plans? I might work more on those Halloween quilts. May, I'm hoping to get a day over here to sew here and there. But well, today, right? I mean, well, yeah, today. Craft today. Um, I'll be working on my house every day until we get in there. So we've got a bunch of stuff we want to do. We're ending up doing a lot more of the work before we move in than we planned. Which would be great. Because um, we're not have to, having to live through it. Yeah. Um, this it. It's just traveling back and forth is a little bit annoying. But I, I mean, it's fine. Um, but So I don't have a lot of energy at night to. I just kind of crash, basically. So. Um, I don't know. I don't really have any Christmas fabric right now. So. Yes, I do. I want to make two more bags, two more Christmas bags. What about to pumpkins my... by social, lady? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I need to make two more Christmas bags because when I was sorting through everything, I was lacking in Christmas bags, but who knows when those will get done. Um, Jack-o'-lantern jubilee. And to work on my prairie school schooler. Plus, I want to do one the little jack-o'-lantern. I actually bought the frame for it. To do like my turkey I did last year, so. Oh yeah, the jack o' lantern from the Perry Schooler. Yes, I love that. Um, so. And then. The so long. <laughs> <laughs> the stitch oh, so yeah. long. Yeah, the stitch. Is that so a week long. like a one a new I block think, a week? Yeah, okay. I think she does. So I'm gonna have to really keep up on that. Um, I don't know some how I'm gonna do that. I don't. I think I'm just gonna wing it and just do the ones that I really love. And that's what I'm doing. Yeah. And then I have I to kind of reconfigure how that. I'm gonna put it together because, like I said, I right. have a small area yeah. for it. Because I absolutely love the little tomato pin cushions that she just did. Yeah, and I'm excited to do that. We're gonna trace that on in a little bit. So mm -hmm. I brought home, brought all That'll my stuff fun. to do that. Applique is really fun. I really enjoy it. And she will be doing hers by machine. Yeah. And I will be doing mine by hand. So. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I do my project bags in my machine because I just zigzag them on and it gives them kind of a funky. It does. It gives them gives feel. it a really know, cool. It's kind of fun. I can make. I can make. I'm terrible at that. I, I really am. Make, I am not good at that at all. I just zigzagged over it. What do you mean? Black too, too. I don't know. They I never look they rounded and too. smooth. They oh, always look too. jig jaggy and. You mean. Just off. How is it different I mean, than if you just hand sewed it on? You don't see it. You don't see the stitching at all. Oh, I get what you're saying. I thought you meant like the applique itself. No, the actual. When I zigzag over it, I'm like, all oh yeah. Over the place and it just takes a little it. bit. I'm doing the white to like you are. You are. <laughs> what is she? Oh, she's doing. She's doing floss tube too. like you are, Am. <laughs> And then you guys should try this out. Oh my gosh, it's paint so splattering on fabric. It was really fun. I don't love stitching on something. just plain white, and I think I do. found my um. <laughs> you go to. You may go to now. And she used just uh, just acrylic acrylic paint, like from Walmart. What is that? Apple Barrel or whatever. I think it was Apple yeah. Barrel. Yeah. 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 Any of them work? I've done it. Okay, with don't pull any more of that out. Full guard, Delta, all the different. Chaos. Chaos is <laughs> over here. All, all right. right. It's okay. So, so follow us on Instagram. I'm at um, White House Dittree. She's at Carly Court Cottage. Still. 
I barely even had one second to even post. So we did go to the sunflower field, and that was fun. We took a lot of fun pictures. We did. We had fun getting sunflowers, didn't we? And riding the wagon and getting kettle corn. Yeah. She got to have popcorn for the first time. That's super loud. It is very loud. <laughs> <laughs> she loves those wood beads. Yeah. Another good reason to seal them because I didn't want dye all over the place. Um, yeah, anyways, follow us here. Subscribe to our channel. Comment below if you have any questions or you can email us. Um, we'll and she will link some stuff below. this time. Yeah. I am right yeah. now. Uh, That's a lot on her. Because um, her mom's... I don't do that. No. So. <laughs> I have to get, like, get on my computer to do yeah. it. Um, it's kind of annoying because YouTube... I don't know if it's YouTube or if it's the iPad. Like, if you go away from any of the uploading process, it stops or cancels it, I've noticed. So you have to wait until it's completely yeah. uploaded and then go back? Or, like, I can do it, like, when I'm if I'm just typing stuff in, but I like to be able to copy and paste links in. And so if I'm going to the website to copy and paste it in, I'm pretty sure it stops it. So when I'm uploading today, I'll just try and be doing that on my computer so I can just automatically feed it into the comments for you guys. We usually don't have to have time to do that right at mm -hmm. the same time, but today but we will. We're gonna so. start doing these early on Sunday, I think, because it's football. It's football. <laughs> so, it's football. I get Saturdays. And yeah. You get Sundays. Yeah. Huh. You want to come say goodbye? Goodbye. Well, come <laughs> here. Yes, show them what you're wearing show today. Show what you're wearing. Come here. This isn't something we wear in our house, but here they do. What do you say? Go Lions? Go Lions! Go. You say Go Hawks! Go. <laughs> Go whoever, Say, right? touchdown. Whoever your team is. Touchdown. Good luck. Touchdown. Touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>